Hi, and welcome to the QVERA community. We are excited that you've signed up for QIE Standard, our award-winning visual interface engine. Whether you are an experienced interface engineer looking for an easier solution, or a clinical administrator tasked with improving information exchange for your organization, the QVERA interface engine will become an invaluable tool to help you achieve your interoperability goals. Let's get started. To get the QVERA Interface Engine, or QIE, installed and running, we first need to download the latest release of QIE Standard and generate a license. Open your web browser and navigate to www.qvera.com. In the upper right-hand corner, there is a login link that allows you to log in to the QVERA client portal. Click the link and enter in the username and password you created during the registration process. Upon signing in, you are brought to the QVERA client portal, which provides access to the QVERA knowledge base, a place where you can ask questions and receive answers from our support team and other members of the community, information about our training and certification programs, our support page where you can email questions directly to our support department, and the ability to manage your QIE standard license. Click on the Manage Licenses icon. Here you have the ability to download either the 64-bit or 32-bit version of QIE Standard. My Windows environment is a 64-bit version, so I will download the corresponding version of QIE Standard to my workstation. Once QIE is downloaded to your computer, we can begin the installation. Open up the folder where you downloaded QIE and extract the installation files. Then double click on the QIE executable and click Run to begin the installation. You will be presented with a dialog box that asks you to confirm the validity of the application. Click on Yes. Click Next to continue. Accept the QIE license agreement and click Next to continue. The QVERA interface engine requires a current version of Java in order to run. During the installation process, the QIE installer will check to see if you have Java installed. If Java is not installed on your computer, QIE will offer to open the Java website so you can download and install Java. Do this prior to installing QIE. Click Yes and the Java website will open up in your web browser so that you can download and install Java on your computer. On the Java page, you have the ability to download the offline version of either the 64-bit or 32-bit version of Java. My Windows environment is a 64-bit version, so I will download the Windows Offline 64-bit version of Java to my workstation. Once the download is complete, double-click on the installer, then click Install. Java will now install on your computer. Once Java is installed, you will see a successful installation screen. Click on the Close button. You are now brought back to the QIE installer where you are asked to perform the Java check again. Click on the Yes button to continue the QIE installation. QIE will now find Java installed on your computer. Click Next to continue the QIE installation. Keep the default installation location and click Next. Click Next to continue. And finally, click Install to complete the installation of QIE standard. Once QIE is installed, the QIE Service Manager dialog box will appear. Click on the Start button to start the QIE service. If the service does not successfully start, make sure you have the corresponding 32 or 64-bit version of Java installed to match your QIE standard and Windows versions. Click OK to close the QIE Service Manager and Finish to complete the QIE installation wizard. Now that the installation is finished, we can launch QIE in your web browser. Open up your web browser and type in localhost and click enter. The QIE login screen is launched and fills in the default username and password of admin admin for you. Once you click on the login button, QIE will ask you to create a new admin password. This new password is what you will use to log in to QIE. Once you've created your password, click on the change button. The final step in configuring QIE standard is to apply your QIE standard license to the License Keys dialog box. Your license key will be found in the Manage Licenses section of the QVERA client portal. Copy your customer ID and password and paste them into the corresponding sections of the License dialog box. 
Click on Get License to apply the license to your installation of QIE Standard. Click on Save to close the License Key dialog box. Now that you have QIE installed, you can start building your first interface. To get you started, we recommend reading the QIE tutorial found under the Help menu. As you are building your interface, if you run into any questions or issues, we encourage you to visit our knowledge base. Happy interfacing!